Hi guys, it's Jenna Vasayu. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to continue reacting to the Kenobi series. This is episode three. Uh, the last episode actually ended beautifully beautifully the last scene was very captivating i think they did such a beautiful job so far it's been beautiful like i have no complaints whatsoever um so let's let's see what happens next so cool. oh my god he's talking to his master master Clyde joy oh my god i miss him so much by the way are you there I do not fear the dark side. So, also to hear his voice, you know. I haven't heard his voice in a long time. I just wanted to pause a little bit just because I'm noticing that it's so... I have so much anxiety over this character. Darth Vader is such... It, it's the pillar of Star Wars, one of the main pillars of Star Wars. And I have to say, when I see him on screen, I, can't, I kind of like freeze. I kind of freeze and right now as I'm watching this new footage like we have never seen these scenes before this is brand new and but we're seeing a character that we have seen we haven't seen for a long time and we're not seeing him again and it's kind of captivating and I freeze in his presence in a sense watching him it's so emotional and it it's uh, it's bewildering like it, it really is it's like I'm without words how uh, amazing it is to feel like this like it, it feels great to see him again it's uh, like in summary that's how I'm feeling like I'm in shock I'm frozen like I don't know what to say because I'm just I just want more I want to hear more I want to hear his breathe listen to his breathing I, I I want to listen to him I want to see him and it just um I, I missed him, you know? I missed it. it I, like, he's such a, a great character and he's such an important character for Star Wars. He represents Star Wars. You get it? Like, he, he is Star Wars. It's, it's important that he's in this show right now. It is so important that he is here. And I'm very happy um, that they're showing him. I want to see more. How does it feel when you turn on the light? I feel safe. Yes, it feels like that. Lola! Aww. You fixed her. Thank you. Their relationship is so cute and on it, and I, I wouldn't be surprised um, to see her getting attached to him like if he were her father and I'm wondering if she's going to kind of um, think that he is her father because she knows she was adopted so it's a moment of time that she's starts questioning why he's so interested in her and why he's doing uh, all of this and um, I'm, I'm wondering if he, she's going to ask him um, whether he is her father so I mean, if I were her at this point without knowing anything, I would have some questions. I would have some doubts. It's possibly my father. He's doing all of this. It can not be for nothing. It must be some attachment towards me that precedes these um, this event. <gasps> oh 
Stay close. What are you doing out here? That's a long story. It's a long way. He brought me here to see the place where he met my mother. Poor Steve. She's not with us anymore. It's been a very difficult time. I wouldn't know one if I saw one. You haven't heard anything. Nothing. Are you sure he's even on this planet? They know what they're doing, Leia. You called her Leia. Hey. I thought her name was Vumba. That was her mother's name. I get confused. Like I said, it's not been easy. Sometimes when I look at Luma, I see her mother's face. We all miss her very much. Well, just keep your eyes open. Report it if you see anything. Of course. Of course. Then you can't be dead. <laughs> She's smarter than you. What? You know her. I know mother. Don't you? It was just a story. The whole time I've known you, you've been hiding from me. Lying to me. Leia. Are you my real father? I wish I could say I was. But no, I'm not. It just shows you how corrupt and the Jedi is. And the Jedi Order is not fun. Like, it's a sacrifice. The fact that they took children away from their families, that's unethical. And there's nothing more about that just because they want to abuse the powers of these children that are showing some uh, force sensitivity. And like I said, it's not all black and white. And and I think Anakin was trying to disclose that and show that in the most horrible way, but he kind of understood what happened um, to the Jedi Order and how he felt abused in a way, taking advantage of to get to what they wanted, to their end goal, without being recognized as Jedi that he truly was, which was the, the best Jedi, and he will be the best Jedi ever lived. And he was not recognized as such and he kind of became aggressive towards them because he was feeling abused and used and everything. And I can I, I think he, he exposed them, but by exposing them, he kind of lost himself uh, through the process. And um, you have to choose a side. The Jedi Order, despite having the flaws that he has, he always, his main goal was to protect and serve despite and at the expense of the members of the jedi order and their lives and i guess anakin being as selfish as he was he cared about his life he cared about himself but he did care like i said about padme he cared about his family there's nothing wrong with that and the jedi order put that burden on him feeling that he was on the wrong to feel that to feel that a compassion that empathy but especially that love that it was forbidden because between serving your your country or your the the, the you know uh, the citizens and serving your wife serving your wife and your family is always a kind of a priority making sure your life your family is safe becomes the first thing you will think of and your priority and then the rest will come and in the Jedi order the Jedi mentality shouldn't be like that. There's something called balance. If there is a balance between um, the darkness and um, and the Sith and the Jedi, I will say there's a gray area, and there's a balance between what is right and what is like like I said between the dark side and the light side. 
However, there's no compromise between good and evil, but good and evil is always reflected to actions. So it's not about what you believe, it's about how you are enacting them. So Anakin was not wrong in all his beliefs, but the way he enacted them, the path that he chose to make sure that uh, to real realize his goals was wrong because he committed terrible crimes and terrible evil acts so but many of the things he believed they were not completely wrong i was so emotional when she was asking about him i knew that she was gonna feel that connection with him a fatherly figure you know uh, they were pointing at this they've been pointing at this since the beginning so i was not in shock that she presumed that he was maybe her father it was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm disappointed. Putting it down. Dude, do Just let the go. Come on. Can you teach me how to shoot? Leia. Come and get ready. She'll make a good fighter one day. Yes, I think you might be right. Why do you do this? Risk everything? I joined up when the Empire stood for something. By the time I realized what they really were, it was too late. I made some mistakes. We all did. I can't imagine Obi-Wan Kenobi doing anything wrong. It's just bad these days. It's crazy. Oh my god. Gotta help them. What have you become? I am what you made me. He's still running away from him. He's still running away. It's crazy. He just doesn't want to fight him. He just doesn't want to. After all that he did to him. Come on. You throw it in the fire, bro. Come on. You're not going to face him. You're going to his fist. The years have made you weak. You 
you see the fact that Darth Vader's power and performance is in silence hearing his breathing and not talking is the best best Darth Vader could possibly have like I prefer him not talking and just I can see his expression through his mask and what he's thinking what he's going through it's just amazing visually amazing see the flames into his eyes reflect in his eyes and his mask like almost succumb to fire and reborn from fire it's just so many metaphors it's just amazing amazing something you know Darth Vader's presence is more than just a body it's it's a figure that it's a dark figure that it's like obscured by like wrapped by mystery and it's just he doesn't need words he doesn't need speech he can look at you you can already see what's going through that's not a robot you know what i mean a robot doesn't do that that just proves to you that that darth vader has been conflicted throughout all these years and he does still experience conflict between good and evil he does he spared them he did spare him hey okay, guys that was the end of episode three it was amazing okay every episode has been an improvement from the last episode like every episode is getting better and better and again we want to see Darth Vader and Obi-Wan facing off we want to see that we want to see that that's what I'm watching it for I don't want to see just Obi-Wan interacting with the other characters this interaction is the one that we've been waiting for um it was emotional it's a beautiful ride I I mean oh my god I'm so happy I'm so happy right now happy happy I don't know I cannot even listen to criticism right now because I'm so happy to see this finally they brought it together they they did it so wonderfully like I don't know how to explain it they did everything right I'm so happy I, I know man that I've been reading some of the criticism even though I've been trying to avoid it at the same time because they might contain spoilers but I do know there has been some criticism but overall has been a good good come good comments on this series I mean everyone was very pleased with the entire show and so far this episode is the best it was amazing amazing it was beautiful beautiful and um yeah and Kenobi it's like losing he's afraid of him they capture the fear in his eyes so well and it's just so appropriate because he's not himself anymore something beyond human and it, he fears him now which is what Darth Vader wanted he feeds off the fear and that is why he will be redeemed only by one person which is his son because his son did not fear him he was not afraid of him he faced them in the cave he was he started to be his fear but then his fear, his greatest fear, was to become like him, to end up like Darth Vader. That was Luke's fear, to become evil, to become a Sith. That was his fear, to be consumed by the dark side like his father did, okay? That was his fear. And that was, and his father kind of represents that fear because he gave in. He was corrupted, okay? And Luke basically bypassed that. He succeeded in churning him in redeeming him because of the his love for him and because he believed that it could be turned everyone can be better okay so oh my god i'm so happy i cannot wait to see more of luke i'm sure this season they concentrate on leia maybe they will do another season on luke i don't even know how they're gonna do it because it will be it will be luke will be very difficult because in the original trilogy we have no knowledge we have no no storyline for Leia like we know what happened to her from the prequels but we don't have anything of her as a child um or her re interacting with Obi-Wan so of course they have they have used that to create this story but with Luke we kind of know because Luke had interactions with Ben uh as an you know as a teenager I guess when he gets older but they didn't mention him getting um 
close to B1 as a child, but we know from the original trilogy that he knew about a Ben Kenobi uh, around the area that was, you know, where he lived. So I'm sure he must have encountered him as a child. So that will, can be used in the story. I just don't know in one way and whether it will be sufficient to cover an entire season and like on what grounds, you know? And then also I would like to know if maybe we can do Darth Vader feeling something about his children. I don't know because technically we were gonna lose the the moment of surprise in the originals you know he was not he was in shock he, like he didn't know anything about his children so it would be kind of like didn't it wouldn't make any sense that he can sense their presence now but maybe they can do something with it they can be creative and give us something some some emotional um some emotional scenes um related to his children or padme i don't know but there's so much potential here they can really do many creative things with these characters so you really there's so much room for it let me know what you guys thought of this episode so far it's great i love this show so much leave your comments i'll read them all and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!